Hello everyone, I'm one of your TAs for the semester and I'll be taking you through recitation 0b, Fundamentals of NumPy. NumPy, that is numerical Python, is a package that contains several classes, functions, variables to deal with scientific calculations in Python. The contents of this recitation are installation, initialization, accessing and modifying data, pivoting data, combining data, and math operations in NumPy. Let's look at how to install NumPy on our systems. Generally, NumPy is pre-installed on Colab and AWS. We can check if NumPy is available and what its version is using this command given here, pip show NumPy. To manually install NumPy, we can use this command given here, pip install NumPy. When this command is given, it searches the latest version of the NumPy package on the internet, downloads it and installs it. A point to note is we cannot store different data types in the same array. To work with NumPy, we should import it into our Python program so we can use objects from that package. This can be done with the statement given here, import NumPy as NP. Here we are using NP to refer to the word NumPy. NP is the standard alias of NumPy. Hence, whenever we need to type NumPy, we instead just type NP. We've also set a random seed initialization of zero. Random seed is used to initialize the pseudo random number generator. It can be anywhere between zero to two raised to 32 minus one. The seed function is used to save the state of a random function so that it can generate same random numbers on multiple executions of the code on the same or on different machines for a specific seed value. Let's look at how to initialize new NumPy arrays. Here, we'll be looking at how to create an empty array, a zeros array, and a ones array. np.empty is used to create an empty array of a given shape without initializing entries. In this case, we are, we are using this function to create an array of size two by two. This can be seen here. We can use np.zeros function to create an array of a given shape initialized with zeros. In this case, we are using this function to create an array of size two by three. This can be seen here. We can use np.ones function to create an array of a given shape initialized with ones. In this case, we are creating an array of size four by two and initializing all of the values with ones. We can also create a full array of a given shape and type filled with a fill value. In this case, we are creating an array of size two by two and filling all of the values in that array with a value of 10. This can be seen here. Zeros like array is used to create an array of zeros with the same shape and type as a given array. In this case, we are using the same shape and type of the ones array and filling all of the values in that array with zeros. This can be seen here. The, the shape of this array is the same as the shape of the ones array, which is four by two. Ones like function is used to return an array of ones with the same shape and type as a given array. In this case, we are using the zeros ARR as an input and the np.ones like will create an array of the same shape and type as the zeros ARR. Hence, we can see that the dimensions are same and fill all the values with ones. We can also use np.full like, which will create a full array with the same shape and type as a given array. In this case, we are using the shape and type of the zeros ARR and filling all the values with 0 0.1. We can also create an array from the existing data. Suppose we have some data stored in a list and we want to create and we want to convert that data from the list to an array. This can be used directly with the help of this function np.array and the list can be passed as an input to this function. This will give an output as an array with a dimension of four. np.loadtxt is a function that is used to initialize an array by loading the data from a .txt file. 
each row in the txt file must have the same number of values. Similarly, we can initialize an array by loading a data from the .npy file. This can be done by using this function np.load. The inputs to both of these functions have to be the path to your txt file and npy file respectively. Let's look at numerical ranges. The a range function is used for evenly spaced values within a given interval. The interval includes the start but does not include the stop. The default value of start is zero and the default value of step is one. However, the value for stop needs to be specified. In this case, the value of stop is given to be 10. As we know, it will not be included in the A range. Hence, we get all the values from zero to nine since the default value of the step is one and the default value of the start is zero. Lin space is something similar to the A range function. It will return num evenly spaced samples calculated over the interval. Better to use when the step size is non-integer. So this will create an uh, evenly spaced numbers over the interval of two to three. It will return five values since we have specified the num as five and the endpoint will not be included in this. Hence we can see this is the output. We can also create arrays from random values. To create an array of a given shape and populate it with random samples from a uniform distribution of zero to one, zero included and one excluded, we can use the function np.random.rand. In this case, we are creating an array of size three by two and populating it with random samples from zero to one. As we can see, the output is over here. We can also create an array by returning random integers from a low, which is included, and high, that is excluded. The high value needs to be specified. However, the low value is, uh, has a default value of zero if it is not specified. In this case, we'll be creating an array of size two by four and populating it with random integers from zero to five, but five will not be in, in, included. And hence we can see the output over here. For a random samples from a normal distribution, we can use np.random.rand in. This will create a, uh, an array of size two by four and populate it with values from a Gaussian distribution whose uh, st uh, standard deviation is sigma, which is 2.5 and its mean is the value of three as specified. And this will give us this array of size two by four with a mu of three, sigma of 2.5 and the dimensions of two, 2 comma four. Thank you.